I'm going to sue you and this whole damn city if you even think about Chandler's insane idea about demolishing my house. Do you hear me? Unbelievable. JR is threatening to get back at me by ripping down my house. If I would have known, I would have brought my wrecking ball and helped him out. What's your problem? Not what, who. Because of you, David, I lost my one chance to get to the truth. A truth that could save my marriage and Ryan. That truth serum that Kendall and I got from you? <laughs> I recall being purposely vague about why we needed that stuff. There was a reason for that. I was trying to send a message. Don't ask, butt out. None of your business. So why'd you run to Ryan and tell him about it? I thought he was the one you were using it on. If Ryan was lying to you or cheating on you, I was going to straighten him out. I've told you a million times, David, stay out of my marriage. Ryan would never hurt me. Yeah, well, obviously things aren't all peaches and cream in Laveryland. Or you wouldn't be so mad that I blew your cover. No, it was none of your business. I told you I would handle it. I was worried about you, Greenlee. What do you expect? I expect you to turn a blind eye. You've been pretty good at that lately. What is that supposed to mean? I came to you for help months ago when you were too busy running interference with that skanky baby napping daughter of yours. Don't talk about babe like that. And I don't remember you asking for my help. I came here to see you in this about to be Tinder cabin. I told you I wasn't feeling like myself. You promised to check me out. Ring any bells? Probably not, since I never heard from you again. Oh, but don't feel bad. I only went crazy, almost threw myself off Fusion's rooftop, and ended up in a psych ward. You what? Yeah, I was being poisoned by Ryan's brother. I'm positive. Oh, my God. Hard to believe? Yeah, you're not the only one. Ryan refuses to accept it. I was going to use that truth serum on Jonathan, but then you had to butt in, tip Ryan off, and, and Ryan showed up just as Jonathan was about to confess. Wait a minute. Wait, are you telling me that Ryan wouldn't even let you ask his psycho brother the million-dollar question? Oh, no. He was mad as hell. He got his brother out of there before he could say another word. And now, thanks to you and your big mouth, I'll never get the truth out of Jonathan. Jonathan is one sick lavery. Yeah, well, until I can prove he drugged me, he's going to keep getting away with it. Why wasn't he thrown in jail after what he did to Bianca? If he wasn't jailed for smacking Maggie, I don't see how scaring the life out of Bianca would stick. That bastard hit Maggie? You didn't know? I figured that was one of the reasons she left town. What? When did that happen? Maggie never said a word to me. Wow. Guess it's true. What goes around comes around. What is that supposed to mean, Greenlee? You're getting a taste of your own medicine, David. I guess your cousin wasn't eager to confide in you after you helped Babe keep Yonka's baby. This is unbelievable. How the hell could I have missed all this? What are you doing? I may have been out of the loop for a while, but now my eyes are wide open. Jonathan Lavery is not going to hurt you, Maggie, or Bianca, or anybody else ever again. I said, give it to me. God, David, you can't just give Jonathan a lethal drug to make up for lost time. Just relax, all right? I wasn't going to kill the freak. I was just going to deaden his psychopathic tendencies. How about you let me handle it? No, that request is all played out, Greenlee. And it's not like it's gotten you very far. Oh, and these whacked concoctions that you come up with, they've gotten you so far. You know something? You're absolutely right. I've got nothing left to lose. My MD license is gone. I can't use my talents to heal sick people, but I can use them to protect the people that I love, which is exactly what I intend to do. Well, I don't need you protecting David. Oh. Not anymore. All right, come on, Greenlee, don't say that. You're right, I checked out for a while, but I'm trying to make up for it now. You blabbed to Ryan about the truth serum. When I was losing my mind, you were too busy aiding and abetting babe. Worst of all, you turned your back on my family when you turned on Bianca. You don't think I hate what I put Bianca through? You feel bad after the fact. Well, it's too late. It doesn't make me want to forgive and forget. You kept a baby from her mother. That's unforgivable. You're right. You're right. It was a terrible thing to do. But it's done, and I can't take it back. So can we please just move forward? No. I can't even pretend that I still feel the same way about you. I shouldn't have come to you for that truth juice. It was just a moment of desperation. I should have known I couldn't depend on you, but I guarantee it won't happen again. I'm trying to make things right here. Greenlee. And for the gazillionth time, stop trying, David. I don't need your help with Jonathan. I don't want you involved in my life anymore. It's over, David. 
Thanks for nothing. I don't believe.